Hey everyone, welcome back. So this next haul is from Vintage Chic Scents. Um, it's a pretty small order uh, and I, I placed it because there was a loaf that I've heard um, someone rave about on YouTube. Her name's Danny. Can't remember her channel name. I'll try to remember to link it. Um, but the loaf she was raving about. So let me go ahead and I'm going to pull that one out first. Um, is here's the list. Check it twice. I have not ordered, first of all, have not ordered from Vintage Chic Sense. I think since 2018 is the last time I've ordered. So it's been quite a while. She has a ton of new scents and blends and stuff that I haven't tried. Um, I really do enjoy her wax. I tend to get like a little hit and miss on some of her scents, but I love her blends a lot. And when they do throw well, they're like amazing. So to me, it's worth it, but I do have quite a bit. I have like three bins of her wax. So I'm definitely not trying to stock up on any more, but I just, I was in such a bakery mood the last month. So I just really wanted to get this scent. Um, her labels are different now in that she um, puts the scent notes as well as the well, she's always had the poor date, I think, but now she puts the scent notes. Um, she's also changed in that she doesn't offer nearly as many different of the cutesy, like, flower shapes and stuff. Like, she doesn't do the blossom bags or deluxe blossom bags anymore. I think she does pretty basic pours. That's probably just for time, maybe, I'm guessing. Um, but anyhow, and I don't know if she does embeds in her loaves anymore. This is obviously a plain loaf. But anyhow, so here's the list. Check it twice. It is zucchini bread sugar cookies, chestnuts and brown sugar, gooey batter, and fresh rolled dough. So that sounds amazing. I've heard nothing but amazing things about that. And I am um, going to sniff it now. I did sniff this order when I first got it, but give it another sniff. Yeah, this is like heaven bakery goodness. This is really, really good. It's definitely like a doughy, sweet bakery. Um, so like that, I feel like that gooey batter and like the sugar cookie and the dough is probably what's coming out the most. I'm not smelling her zucchini bread right now, but it smells really good. So from a price perspective, she's definitely raised her prices a few times, I think maybe, you know, since I've ordered. So she's, I feel like a little bit on the pricier side. So this loaf is $19.50. Um, and it weighs about 14 and a half ounces. That's in the bag with the plastic bag, you know, with the tin and everything. So, but you're probably getting at least like 14 ounces. So that's not too bad. Um, that's probably pretty common to where I see a lot of vendors now. Um, and, and so I think it's worth it, you know, for a little bit, but I'm probably not going to go crazy buying her stuff like I used to, um, when I felt like it was a little bit cheaper, but that's a great scent. Then I got a couple rose shape so now she sells these roses just individually i don't remember if she was doing that before or not but anyhow so this one is you david it's tom ford tobacco vanilla and palo santo i actually don't remember why i got this one because i don't think that's something i would normally go for um so this one is about 2.8 ounces and her jumbo roses are three dollars and eighty cents so that's not too bad. You're paying, I think it's about a like $1.50, $1.60 per ounce, depending on the shape. This smells good. I think I was wanting to try something that was kind of like a sweet masculine scent. It's really good. I like the tobacco. I've never smelled the Tom Ford tobacco vanilla, but this smells really nice. I get that sweet tobacco, like that vanilla tobacco. And I think that Palo Santo adds like a little bit of a sweetness to it too. This is actually a really pretty scent. Um, with her wax, I definitely let it cure as well. It needs some good cure time. Um, and then I got some heart shapes. So actually one of them, was it this one? Not this one. This So this one did come in the heart shape. One of them was supposed to come in the rose, and she actually poured it in the heart. And the hearts, I guess, are a little bit more wax. But this one is Priscilla's Wedding, which is Chantilly Cream Cake drenched in lavender sugar milk. I definitely got this for, like, the lavender. So it's a pretty purple heart. And this is, yeah, 3.4 ounces. And then you pay $4.85. So close to 5 bucks. So that's, you know, getting up there for sure. 
This is a really pretty scent. I smell mostly the Chantilly cream cake. I'm not really eating much of the lavender sugar milk. Well, the lavender in it. I'm hoping that with some cure time that lavender will come out because I do like to smell the lavender scents. Um, so we shall see. It's good, but I'm hoping the lavender comes out more. He's just not that into you, which is Palo Santo, Palo Santo, vanilla lace, and chestnuts and brown sugar. Uh, this is, yeah, this originally came in the heart as well. This is really pretty scent. Very, very pretty. I get the vanilla lace. I can smell the Palo Santo. I feel like I'm not getting a lot of the chestnuts and brown sugar right now. But it smells really good. Yeah, so this is the size of it. It's a pretty good size. Um, I think I could get at least four melts. We'll cut it into four pieces, you know, for sure. This is really pretty. I definitely, I think it's heavier on the vanilla lace, um, which is a pretty scent. So that smells really good. I like that. Did I enjoy this one? Yeah, 3.6. So not too bad. <clears throat> Then this is the one that was supposed to come in a heart, I'm sorry, the rose shape and came, she actually poured it in the heart. So this is simply the best, which is gooey batter, smoked vanilla, fresh rolled dough, buttery vanilla, marshmallow fireside, and a hint of sugared almonds. So that's what the heart looks like. It's very pretty. You can is in a bakery mood. This is really good. What is that note? There, it's the vanilla. Yeah that buttery vanilla and the marshmallow or the smoked vanilla this is just a warm sweet comforting vanilla scent it's very 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 pretty um i'm not i don't think i'm getting any of the almond um at least it doesn't smell like kind of that almond extract smell that you sometimes get that's just a beautiful vanilla bakery then the last thing i ordered was this more cowbell. I don't know what this is from, sorry. This is a bourbon chai, and I was really craving a chai scent, which is why I got this. And this is her souffle cup. And the souffle cup weighs about four and a half ounces, and you pay $6.65. So it is pricey, it's getting up there. Um, but, you know, for a little bit here and there, her stuff smells pretty good. So I'm not sure what I think of the scent. I can definitely smell the bourbon. It's very sweet, spicy bourbon. It makes my mouth water, like it's something I'd wanna drink. And I, I, I don't know if what's giving it the spice is the chai. It does not, not smell like a chai. I wonder if it's a chai tea. Am I getting a black tea note or is it just chai spices? It's really, it's a different scent. I really like it though. It's really nice. Yeah, I really like that. I'm looking forward to melting that. The first time I spilled it, I wasn't sure because that bourbon really does hit you, but it's like a sweet, spicy bourbon. I don't know, it's really good. So that's everything I ordered. And then I did get one sample. Um, this is tropical fruit. Oh no, so it's Annette's Beach Party Punch and it's a tropical fruit punch, tropical fruit punch scent in her two ounce scent shot. Um, yeah, it smells like fruit punch. Really good. Very cherry fruit punch. But it smells good. Smells strong. So samples are always great. So love that. So anyhow, that's my little order from Vintage Chic Scents. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you've tried out any of these scents, definitely let me know. Let me know what you think. I'm going to put these away and definitely not touch them for at least a month or so. Because a lot of them are bakery and vanilla. They're all going to be scents that are going to tend to be on the lighter side so I'm going to want to make sure I get a nice throw so I definitely want to cure them for a good amount of time um and then hopefully maybe in the next couple months as we get like into spring I think these will be very beautiful scents to transition from winter to spring um because they're they're very um soft bakery scents they're all very soft and beautiful and just delicious they're not heavy bakery like this one's a little heavy but i think it'll still be good for spring it's not like spicy bakery right um so i think this will be great transition scents into spring so thank you guys so much for watching i will talk to you soon bye